Hello from Texas. This is Zach Hample outside Minute Maid Park in Houston, a stadium that lots of people on YouTube have asked me to visit. I have been here five times over the years, but today will be my first time doing a video here, so I'm hoping to put on a good show for you guys. That might be tough because as beautiful as the stadium is, it's not configured too well for catching baseballs. There is that section in left field where the seats are pretty shallow, a famous spot called the Crawford Boxes. A lot of balls land there, but it gets really crowded. And out in right field, you got a bullpen in right center that swallows up a lot of home runs. And then in straightaway right, you have these long railings that make it really tough to run left and right. I'll point out all this stuff when I head inside, along with some of the other cool features. So yeah, come on, let's do it. I got a quick toss up from a dude in left field, not sure who, and then when my cameraman was switching lenses or something, I actually leaned over the wall and backhanded a home run on the fly. So two quick baseballs and we still got a lot of batting practice remaining. A lot of ricochets in this area because it is so shallow. There's this big back wall and balls just come down. Gaddis just hit that one up onto the train tracks. And almost all these guys are going oppo. If I had known that, I would have been in right field for sure. But, you know, if I only see a certain team a few times a year, it's hard to predict basically who's going to hit in which group and where those guys are likely to hit the ball. No one's going to hit a ball this far, except maybe in the home run derby. But it is a decent spot for toss ups. Thank you very much. Oh, check this out. There's a Blue Jays ball. I think the Astros recently played the Blue Jays. Actually, yes. I got a couple of Blue Jays balls from the Astros during BP in Baltimore uh, about a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago. So, all right, that's pretty cool. And it looks like the third and final group of BP today for the Astros is about to begin. There have been a lot of home runs today. The balls are really flying out of this place, but I've only caught one, you know, on the fly, and I've gotten two toss-ups, so I just feel like I was positioned wrong. That's what happens when I'm only at a place once every few years. Uh. I worked hard for that one. Wow. Oh, that's the frustrating thing about playing here is that most balls that are home runs that come out here, you know, are gonna hit way up on the wall. So it's like, oh yeah, baby, and then it, it's really tough. I don't know how in the world I managed to once get 12 balls here in one day. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can just get maybe one or two more in the final group. This was super lame. I mean, I guess in a way I should feel good that I can have what is, for my standards, a bad day and I still get four baseballs, but I mean, really nothing went well. I didn't get a single toss up from the A's despite having this hat. I was playing the arches for half of their batting practice. The moment I came up here to the second deck in right field, they actually hit a ball right through the arch. That would have been a really fun catch running through the concourse. You know, I missed my chance to get down to their dugout clearing the field after batting practice, so. Pretty cool vantage point from right here, looking down on the Crawford boxes. But even more interesting to me, the train tracks. It's, uh, it really wouldn't take that crazy of a home run to hit the back window on the fly. I mean, I'm sure there have been some home runs that have flown completely out of this place when, you know, the roof and the, and the back walls open. 
So yeah, pretty neat up here. This place is so quiet and empty right now. I mean, sure, there's still like 20, 30 minutes till game time, but I mean, this is one of the least attended baseball games that I've probably been to all year. Hey, how's it going? I got four today. Kind of a slow day. Can I have half of the balls in that bag? Carlos Munoz right there, one of two bullpen catchers on the Astros who are extremely nice to me. Javier Bracamante is the other, so it's always cool to catch up with these guys. I find it interesting that a lot of times the emptier a stadium is, the stricter security is. I just had an on-field guard insist like 15, 20 minutes before game time that I had to be in my ticketed seat, even though there were lots of other fans standing around me. Uh, that cost me two toss-ups for sure. Anyway, it's the top of the first inning. I'm behind the dugout in my ticketed seat. And uh, hopefully get a third out ball. I don't know, maybe a little ground ball squibber to the third base coach. And if that happens early, I'll head to the outfield and try to catch a home run. All right, there we go with the game used ball right there. Jose Altuve struck out to end the first inning. And I scooted over to the home plate end of the dugout and I was ready when A's catcher Steven Vogt flipped that ball up near the crowd. So that was actually pretty easy. No one else was even going for it. And that is number five overall on the day. If you're wondering what happened on that last toss up, it was a Carlos Correa foul ball that deflected off the dugout railing. Ryan Healy, the A's third baseman, flung it into the crowd. I was down in the front row, and it went several rows over me. Some random dude deflected it right into my cameraman's head. It bounced off his dome <laughs> over to the right, about half a section away. He's laughing now, and it's making me laugh. But yeah, that was a pretty funny moment. <laughs> All right, this is the spot. Just feeling the urge to be in left field, trying to catch a home run. Despite getting in the stadium two and a half hours before game time, I only got four before the game started because, like I said, this is kind of a tough stadium. There was an interesting thing that happened on the first toss-up. I wasn't sure who it came from. I figured it was an Astros pitcher. So I took a photo of him, tweeted it out, and the Astros actually saw it and replied and ID'd him as Chris Davinsky, so that was cool. Caught a home run after that, which unfortunately my cameraman wasn't able to get a shot of. I got a toss up in left center, commemorative Blue Jays ball, a home run in the second deck hit by the A's, and then during the game, I got the ball that ended the first inning. It was a Jose Altuve strikeout ball. So that's kind of a neat one to have, tossed up by Steven Vogt. After the game, I got a sixth ball down at the dugout, tossed up by Philip Pohl, the Athletics bullpen catcher. And then check this out. This is probably the best thing that happened today. I got the lineup cards from home plate umpire Chris Guccione. I was hoping to get a ball, but he gave away all of them and then offered these and I was like, uh, yeah, I'll take it. So I've gotten dozens of lineup cards over the years, but never from an umpire. So yeah, I'm really pumped about that. Uh, of the six balls I got today, I gave away three, but all six count for my stats. So that number is 9,240. And I'm really looking forward to coming back tomorrow and hopefully having an even better day based on some of the things that I saw and learned today during BP.